There's only one thing to be done, Charlie Brown. I think you should disown that ungrateful dog. Disown him? You have to face it, Charlie Brown. Nobody made him leave. He went because he wanted to. You'll just have to get another dog. I don't want another dog. And I still say, if I don't find out who Lud is, I'll go crazy. He's hopeless. Listen to that music, Chuck. It's a carnival. Doesn't that do something to you? Listen. It's a beautiful evening, Chuck. The air is warm, the sky is filled with stars, and I've got a whole pocket full of tickets for the carnival. Come on, let's go. Listen, people are laughing, Chuck. They're having a good time. You can't let yourself get into a mood like this. I know you miss Snoopy. I miss him too. But if you let yourself get into a mood, no one will want to be around you. No one likes a moody person, Chuck. Take it from me. I learned a long time ago that if you go around in a mood feeling sorry for yourself, you do it alone. And I mean alone, Chuck. I've seen people get sick on merry-go-rounds and Ferris wheels and roller coasters, but you're the first person I've ever seen who got sick going through the turnstile. Hey, look at that, Chuck! Come on, let's go! time, aren't we, Chuck? I love this kind of life. I like action. I'm a moving type person. When nothing is moving, I feel low. That's why I always keep moving. Does your kind ever think about love, Chuck? What do you mean, my kind? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put it that way. No offense. I apologize. Friends? You touched my hand, Chuck. Hey, look here. A fortune-telling machine. Let's get our fortune told, Chuck. Maybe we can find out something about ourselves. You are a very loving person, and your life will be filled with romance. Forget it, kid. You kind of like being with me, don't you, Chuck? What do you think love is, Chuck? Well, years ago, my dad owned a black 1934 two-door sedan. What's that got to do with love? Well, this is what he told me. There was this real cute girl, see? She used to go for rides with him in his car. And whenever he'd call for her, he would always hold open the car door for her. After she got in and he had closed the door, he'd walk around the back of the car to the driver's side. But before he could get there, she would reach over and press the button, locking him out. Then she'd just sit there and wrinkle her nose and grin at him. That's what I think love is. Sometimes I wonder about you, Chuck.